I think one of the key components to this transformational journey that I've been on is I am a massive consumer of books and audiobooks and and blogs and podcasts and I love consuming content and knowledge and turning knowledge into wisdom and seeking like seeking higher levels of beliefs and higher levels of order from from teachers that have that have I guess transcended or or overcome some of the challenges that that maybe I, in that moment that I'm looking to to uh, to transcend to overcome and in my mastermind at, we we have a book study, a little book study group. And it's it's a it's an optional component of, of my group. And we have a small little group of us that get together every Tuesday evening, 6 30 p.m. Central Time. And we we look, we gather and we we dive into a life-changing needle moving book. And we finished up uh, the last book that we read was a was a great book by a fellow named Dr. David Hawkins, one of my favorite spiritual teachers. And it, the title of the book's Letting Go. Check that out. That thing will definitely give you an under, a better understanding about humanity and, and what your humanity is and what your spirituality is and how to transcend and how to move up to the scale of consciousness. That'll, that thing will give you a, a, a huge amount of insight. But the book that we're we're working on right now that we're working our way through right now is 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 titled Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza. Now, I found this book early early on in my transformational journey where you know when when you finish one book and and you, maybe you go to Amazon or something like that and it says if you like that book you'll probably like these three or you know you, if you read a book and it says you know one author will talk about three others and you know there's a breadcrumb trail and great authors will will lead you to other great authors and and that's how I found Dr. Joe Dispenza there and and I saw the title break in the habit of being yourself and like my eyes got wide because listen I I learned early on in this journey that who I am created my circumstances. So my bank account is a product of who I am. My The level of success that I've had in my business is a product of who I am. The quality of my relationships, the quality of my friendships, the quality of my family interactions is a product and an outcome of who I am. I created these things. The character that I am, like, the composition of my thoughts and emotions and beliefs and actions and behaviors, the character that I am in this moment has created my current circumstances. And this is true for you too. If you look in your bank account, if you look at, if you look at the amount of success that you've had in this world, if you look at the quality of your relationships, how much love you have in your life, if you look at the, the friendship bonds that you have, those are all products and outcomes of who you are. You're not a victim. You've created those things. And the sooner you recognize that, the sooner you'll be able to move the needle. Now, why is this important? Because I'm always looking for new insights, new knowledge, new wisdom, new beliefs, new perspectives, new anything that'll help me become a more powerful character in life. And, and what, when I say, again, I'm going to reiterate, when I say character, I mean thinking, feeling, acting, believing, these things, put them all together, and they create your character, right? Now, breaking the habit of being yourself was a needle mover in my life early on in, in this transformational journey. And it is today too. I'm going on a, you know, in November of 2022, I'm going to a, a full week workshop with Dr. Joe Dispenza because I love his teachings. I love what he's about and look into him. He's one of my favorites. So it will definitely move the needle in your life. But early on in this transformational journey for me, Dr. Joe Dispenza was, was critical and, and the, the work that he does in, in his books, and he's got a couple of them, but the work that he does, it's not new. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you understand that, what that means. It's not new, but it is game changing. Now, what, what Dr. Joe talks about is, you know, when you, if you think about what you're currently feeling, and if you feel what you're currently thinking, you'll stay in a loop and you'll stay the same. 
And at some point, you have to break that cycle. How you think today in your, let's say, let's call them your, your habitual thinking patterns and your, your habitual emotional patterns, your, your habitual emotions and what you feel in your body, those have gotten you here. And in order to get to the next level or any level beyond where you are today, those thinking habits and thinking patterns and those emotional habits and patterns, they need to change. And if you think about what you're currently feeling and feel what you're currently thinking, you're going to stay the same. I hope this is making sense because it, 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 it is a game changer. Now, what, what Dr. Joe Dispenza does in his work is help you visualize a more powerful more wealthy, more successful, more happy, more loving future, feel that future. And then by feeling that future, it becomes your future. So what I mean by that is, and I'm, I'm going to give you an example. When I started Dispenza work, I had no business. I had no clients. I literally had an LLC, but I had no clients and I visualized 10 private clients. That's what I visualized. And that's what I focused on. That's what I practiced thinking and feeling in my body through meditation, through regular routine, long meditation. I practiced visualizing and feeling what it would be like to have 10 private clients. And over time, Things started happening in my life that enabled me to create 10 private clients. In fact, before I knew it, I had 16. And this is a true story. I'm not making this shit up. I visualized 10 private clients. And one day I was doing without even thinking about it as they started coming without even thinking about it. One day I'm writing up on my whiteboard, the, the private clients that I have and the coaching capacities that I have with these private clients, the, the containers, the, the coaching containers that I have with these private clients. And before I knew it, I looked at, I read 16, I counted 16. I was like, holy crap. I was just like, how did this happen? And then I thought back that as I did these visualization, there, were, there was this one guy that that we, we went out to coffee and, and he needed somebody to come into his team and do a workshop. And I put a workshop together for him. In fact, I put two together. And then from that workshop, from those workshops, I signed two private clients. And that was my first foray into coaching. Two workshops, two private clients, and I was off and running. Then they started coming. Boom, 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 boom. Before you know it, I had 16. And in my first full year in business... Where most coaches, I've known a coach that had five coaching certifications, and he probably could count less than five coaching clients that he had with those certifications. But within my first full year in business, now, my first year in business was 2017. My first full year in business was 2018. And in my first full year in business, 2018, I exceeded any corporate income level that I ever had recognized. And I'll attribute this work to Dr. Joe Dispenza and the work that, that I did with Dr. Joe Dispenza and breaking the habit of being yourself. What Dr. Dispenza teaches when I said this, this isn't new stuff, because if you, if you were to ever crack and, you know, if you, most people know the book, Think and Grow Rich. If you, if you crack Think and Grow Rich, you're going to see and you're going to read the same concepts that Dr. Joe puts in Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. The same concepts are in Think and Grow Rich. And Think and Grow Rich is by Napoleon Hill, by the way. I'm going to give you a couple titles to, to go check out. I'm going, to, I'm going to give you another one. As a man thinketh. As a man thinketh. And this is an awesome book. And I love it. This is, again, this is one of my early forays into uh, in, into to personal development and self-help. And as a man thinketh, what a game-changing book that was for me. And there's The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Waddles. Holy crap. There's And there's The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale. 
And they all say the same things. It's if you, if you keep thinking what you're currently thinking, if you keep thinking what you're currently feeling, if you currently feel the way you're feeling, and if you currently feel the way you're thinking, you will stay in these same cycles, same patterns, same rhythms, same routines for the rest of your life. And the days will go by, but you will live the same day over and over and over and over for the rest of your life. Is this, is this clicking? Is this making sense? On my second podcast, if you're looking at this podcast, and if you go to the second episode, it's titled, When the Business Owner Grows, the Business Grows Itself. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. As you change the insides of who you are, as you change the way you think, as you change the way you feel, as you change the way you are internally, the outside world reshapes around you. And you don't need the effort in a way that's out of alignment for who you are, that's out of alignment for what creates joy and what creates happiness and what creates excitement in your life. When you change the inside, the outside changes itself through aligned, inspira inspirational, inspired action. Here's what, here's what all this means. So, and I remember early on in my journey when I started trying to think or, or I started trying to feel like my business was already up and running and, and it was like the business was successful. I remember feeling like it was all a lie. How could I feel these lies? Why would I feel these lies? Why would I think these lies? These are all lies. It, I, I'm not allowed to feel these. I'm not allowed to think these, these thoughts. They're lies. And that's exactly why I was where I was, because I was afraid to dream and feel a bigger, brighter, more aligned future for me. It's like I was guarding painful thoughts and feelings. I was protecting painful thoughts, painful feelings that, that kept me where I was instead of dreaming about a bigger future, instead of feeling like a bigger future, instead of thinking about a bigger future. I, it was almost like I was, I was enslaved, enslaving myself and holding myself captive to my current circumstances. I had no job. I had no business. I had no clients, but I was going to visualize having a thriving business. I couldn't do that. That was, that was a lie. And, and in reality, it, it, was, it was the reason I was stuck because I would only allow myself to feel painful feelings and think painful thoughts. I hope this is clicking. I hope it's really starting to click and resonate right now. Because if you always think the way you currently think and you always feel the way you currently feel, you will stay the exact way you are right now. The, the process of thinking and feeling into the future isn't about living in the future. It's about bringing that future to now and, and living as if that future is now and changing who you are in the present moment. Let's unpack that for a second. You have wired neural pathways in your brain that, that cause you to think and feel and behave and believe exactly what you are right now. You have well-worn, well-traveled, well scripted neural pathways right now that have created all of your habits, conditions, patterns, unconscious behavior. And the only way to act differently without forcing it is to rewire those neural pathways. And to rewire those neural pathways, you have to behave you have to feel and you have to think like the new neural pathways. So that requires practice in thinking about what 
that person, the way that person thinks, feeling the way that person feels, and behaving the way that person behaves. And when you operate, and when you think, feel, and behave like the person that you are becoming, and you think, feel, and behave like that person right now, then right now you are becoming, you are actively becoming this person. Guys, it, it can't, it can't get simpler than this. And I hope this is really, really connecting. It's through breaking the habit of being yourself. And as a man thinketh and the, the science of getting rich and, and the, the strangest secret in all of these, these volumes and works over the last hundred, even some biblical principles are based on this. It's when you think, feel, and behave like the person you are becoming, actively, you are becoming that person. When you think about where you want to be in 10 years, and you think about what you, how you want to show up, and what you want to what you want to feel and what kind of circumstances you want in your life. And you think about what, how does that person think? How does that person feel? How does that person behave? And you literally go into the future in 10 years and bring that person back to now and think and feel and behave like that person. You are literally rewiring your neuro pathways to become that person, not in 10 years, but now. And that is how we break the habit of being ourselves. I was just sitting outside on my patio. That we're, we're at the end of summer right now. And we've got a couple really nice days. And in, in, the, in the morning, it's a little chilly, right? And, and in the evening, maybe a little chilly. And the bugs are out, by the way. I live in the Midwest, so bugs are out at night. I don't know if they're feasting to, to kind of store up for the winter. But... During the daytime, it's somewhere around 80, 82 degrees, no humidity. It's beautiful. So I spend a lot of time out there before, before the, the, the summer is gone and it, it moves into fall. Love fall. Love the smell of fall, but love the smell of fall from inside. But I'm sitting out on my patio and I'm literally actively rewiring who I am to be who I'm becoming. The Mike Kitko, 10 years from now, who is that guy? What kind of impact has he had on the world? How does he think? How does he feel? How does he behave? How do the people around me, how do they respond to me? And I visualize and think and feel in the way that that guy thinks and feels. And, and when I get up from that meditation, when I get up from that visualization, when I get up from that contemplation, my behavior changes to be, to be congruent and similar to that guy. We all know who we are. Just think about who you are in 10 years, and that's who you really are. So why wouldn't you allow yourself to think and feel like that person? When I want to throw out another, another zinger of a quote, one of my favorite quotes of all time. And it's by Dr. Wayne Dyer. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And I want you to change if you want more in your life. I want you to change the way you perceive the activities that create growth, that create momentum, that create change in your life. It's not just external effort that moves the needle. But when you master yourself, when you master your mind, when you master your emotions, when you start to rewire yourself to think and feel and change your internal patterns to become the person capable of changing your external patterns, the, the universe moves on your behalf. As you rewire your neural pathways, as you rewire your thinking patterns, as you re rewire your feeling habits, the world that you see around you literally starts to change without you even knowing it. And before you know it, 
You'll be living a different life, wondering what happened. All I wanted were 10 coaching clients, and I blinked my eyes, and I had 16. And I didn't do a lot to create 16. I just changed who I am, and who I am created 16 clients. This stuff works only every time.